Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 16 already, <laughs> and it is beautiful here today. I mean, the sun is out. It had been raining like two hours ago, and it rained, and it poured, and now you can't even tell it. It just has dried it, like, dried it all up, and you can't even tell. <laughs> And, but it is a lot cooler. It was warmer and stuff, and I had my doors open, and but not no more. But anyway, I um, want to get up here and share with you guys what is for today, which is the baby blanket, scrappy blanket, and I do have a project uh, today. And then tonight, I will sit there and show you the ornament of the day for the tree. And you might hear some noise in the background. My neighbor is mulching his leaves. <laughs> I think he's burning them too because I can I think I can smell them <laughs> but anyway the first thing I want to share with you guys and oh and after I get done with this video I am going to be uh, making another one because I got some happy mail today and I want to share it with you guys okay now um, first thing I'm going to share with you is something that brought back so many memories whenever I was a, a little kid you know growing up me and my brothers I can remember and a lot of times it was just me I believe would go out and pick berries and I don't really know what kind of berries they were it could it could have been anything for all I know <laughs> I just remember going and finding berries and bringing them home and we would go and pop popcorn and we would string those berries onto the popcorn and make a garland for our tree yeah I just I just thought it was the neatest thing and uh, we did that all the time because when we were growing up Whenever we were growing up, we always had a real tree. We never did have a, a fake tree. And I just think they're so beautiful. And um, I wouldn't mind doing it again, just getting me a real one. Because I love the smell. And uh, I just think they're gorgeous. And so, like I said, we had real ones when we were growing up. And we'd always use the popcorn garland for it. <laughs> now, I can't say if I remember ever picking it off and eating it. We could have for all I know. <laughs> but I do remember doing it. Just taking a needle. And threading it through that popcorn and then putting a berry on there now I don't know if every year we put a berry on there I don't know I can't remember that but anyway that's what I'm going to share with you guys let me get it out here and here it is now I had intentions of making this for my bigger tree but let me tell you it takes a very long time because I started off and I would go over to the tree and I'd wrap it around it and I thought, oh my goodness, I've got a long ways to go. And then all of a sudden I decided, well, I'll just try to do it a little at a time as I'm, you know, like if I'm going somewhere, you know, hubby's driving and I'm on, you know, wanting to crochet, I'll make some of these. Well, I did it one time and I finally said, you know what, I'll just work on it throughout the year and make one, you know, for the tree for next year. Well, then I got a little tree from the Dollar Tree. And so I went in there the other day and I took it out and wrapped it around that tree and it is perfect. So this is gonna go on my little uh, tree. And I actually have it sitting in the kitchen on my bar and I've got cookie uh, cutters hanging on it, uh, vintage ones. So I've only got three so far. <laughs> I need to get some more of them. I just never think about it when I go to the antique store. I do have some plastic ones though that look cu uh, cute up there. So that I might just do that. But look at this is this not cute so what I did was there is, this is a free pattern got my notes here and it is called easy crocheted uh, popcorn garland and it's by Rose Marie uh, Gallagher and it is a free PDF download and I'll put a link down below if you'd like to make you some you know popcorn <laughs> you know you can just even make up a whole bunch of this and just throw it in a bowl for fun for decoration but uh our kids could even make a necklace out of it. Yeah, I can remember doing that. <laughs> that would be so cool. But anyway, they were really easy to make. And it don't, it don't take long to make one. It's just, you know, it takes a long time to make a bunch of them, at least for me. And I believe I used a five millimeter hook. And this is mainstay white. And then uh, these uh, beads, or I think they're called pony beads. You get them at Walmart, or you can get them probably at Hobby Lobby. And then you just string them on there. I, you know, you just go through there. I had a skein, and I was just going off that skein to what I was doing, and started threading it on. And then I think, yeah, I put three beads in between each one, which you know you could put one if you wanted to. I just wanted to be able to see it. 
but it is it's the perfect size for that little tree so I had a lot of fun making this <laughs> and brings back so many memories I mean how many did any of you guys do that to make the popcorn and you know string it together with the berries or without the berries I just think it's so cool <laughs> So anyway, I'll put a link down below if you guys would like to make you one. I'll go in there and I'll stick this on my tree now. I need, and I also need to make a skirt for that tree. I hadn't done it yet. I am getting behind on some things. Okay, now the next one I'm going to share with you guys is for the baby blanket. And it's the last row. Can you believe it? And let's see if I can find it. And I can't remember if it's, which one goes first. The solid color or the applique one. I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm thinking it is this. <laughs> now, this is, let me think. This was a pattern by Rafa Musa Designs. And I'm trying to remember if it was free. I'm thinking that it was a free pattern, but I'm not 100% sure. Hold on a minute and I'll go look. Okay, I'm back. Well, whenever I paused it and went to go look for it, it completely shut my video down. So, anyway, it is a free pattern, and it is by, it's on the Rafa Musa design, and this is what it is. It's a stocking. <laughs> I had to have a stocking on there, and I just think it's the cutest thing, and it works up really fast. And so, I ended up doing it in the Red Heart uh, Super Saver in that cherry red, mainstay white, and then I just went back in and did some stitching around it like she has it, and did it some right there on the toe. But I just thought it was so cute, and I had to have me one on there on the, the baby blanket. And so the other, the solid color that's going to go next to it is this one right here. And this is that Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, and the, oh, Cranberry, I think it is. I think I would remember this as many times as I said it. But anyway, that's what'll go on there next. And so I'll sit down there tonight and crochet it together. Okay, now the next one is the scrappy blanket. Let me fix my phone. I think I pushed you up too far and too low. There we are, that's better. <laughs> oh my. Okay, now the scrappy blanket is in here and I told him yesterday whenever I got done, I said, you picked two of the same colors first time, though. <laughs> he just laughed. I said, that's okay, though. There's nothing wrong with the repeat. So we'll see if he did it again. <laughs> so yesterday, and it is getting big, and that's what it's looking like so far. So pretty. And so last night, I sat in there, and I put those two in, which was that blue and the red and it was a repeat right down here <laughs> so let's see what he's got in the bag for us today and just to see what it is okay oh let's see feels like two skeins yeah I'm pretty sure there's two in there <laughs> all right let's see what we can do here see if I can pull one out without pulling part of the other one out <laughs> Well, we kind of see what both of them are now. <laughs> it's yellow and what color is that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what color that is. It is Hobby Lobby. I, uh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, but for some reason, is it this one here? It is that one. <laughs> It just looked a little bit different. Oh, I'll be all right. But anyway, those are the two colors that he has picked to put in there. That's going to be beautiful on there. It really needed that yellow to make it pop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so scattery. But that's going to be so pretty. And I know he didn't put that with that. He actually put it with green. John Deere green. <laughs> But yeah, that is that Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. I would, you know, what I was thinking of. I was thinking of that uh, Hobby Lobby. I love that. I love this yarn and that red that that antique <laughs> store. When I keep thinking, uh, is what I was thinking of. But it's not. I already rolled it up in a ball. So I'll go in there tonight, sit down, and put my three rows in. 
while I'm watching YouTube. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what I have to show you guys for today on that. And so now I'm going to hop off of here and then I'll come right back and I'm going to share with you guys my Happy Meal. I got to go get it and bring it out. I, uh, only thing I did was I cut the top of the box <laughs> so I wouldn't be wrestling with it out here but i haven't opened it up all the way yet so i might have hubby bring it out here for me okay all right well i hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and i will see you i keep forgetting i gotta go tonight and show you that ornament of the day for the tree so anyway i'll be seeing you guys here real soon all right guys it's time to share with you the ornament of the day it's still vlogmas day 16 hanging out here with my friends. <laughs> I decided to put them in the window right now and the little snowman and Santa. Then I've got my Grinch and my uh, other snowman right here. I just love these. They're adorable. Those are from my friend Ann. But anyway, uh, the ornament of the day is a free pattern by Maria's Blue Crayon and it is a stocking, a little miniature stocking. <laughs> now I thought, well, since I made a stocking for the uh, baby blanket, I might as well make a little ornament to hang on the tree. So anyway, I ended up using, I believe, a 3.2 millimeter hook. And I don't really remember what size that she used on hers, but it was really easy to, to make and it didn't take long at all. And so I ended up using, uh, that's Red Heart Super Saver with the glitter red in it. And then that's the Hobby Lobby. I love the yarn with the white. Well, I just think it's so cute. And I love how you can do the heel, you know, in a different color. I mean, you can make a bunch of these in different colors and make garland out of it. But I thought that'd be really sweet to hang up there on the tree. So anyway, that's what I have to share with you guys tonight. So I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to go probably make me a bag of popcorn. <laughs> Throw some of those chocolate things in there along with some M&M's and... Work on my blankets and watch some YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed night. And I will see you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 17. <laughs>